to the dismay of many locals, a small number of zebra mussels were recently found in the whitefish chain near Cross, Cross Lake for the first time. Searchers found adult zebra mussels in Cross Lake and Lower Hay Lake. DNR officials confirmed an unusual discovery by an unlikely pair. A cherished chain of lakes, 14 lakes, 14,000 acres, seemingly unhampered by pesky zebra mussels until now. One particular comment I got was paradise lost. Dave Fisher heard a handful of anxious phone calls after they learned of a small infestation in Cross Lake and Lower Hay Lake, two of the lakes in the whitefish chain. Where are the zebra mussels? How many are there? Are all the lakes infested? Where the zebra mussels were found is a unique story. Two grade school girls spotted the dreaded hitchhikers. And they were doing some swimming and loafing on the dock, and I think it was the 10-year-old looked in the water and she says, you know what? I think I see a zebra mussel down there. A phone call to the DNR, then a verification. Several mussels were found by DNR divers on top of the four to five found by the girls. We don't see high numbers in the basins right now, but what we are finding are adults. The whitefish chain had a low density infestation. Typically at that level, DNR officials will find zebra mussels attached to a native mussel. So they're at a reprodu reproduction age already. They probably have been reproducing already. The DNR's last zebra mussel encounter is at the south end of Lower Hay Lake. The first sighting was on the east shore of Cross Lake. In the case of those two little girls, knowing that they know about invasive species and they can pass it on to their you know, their friends and other adults and grandparents and parents. and It was not an accidental find. The girls read books on zebra mussels. Locals only hope that searching eyes continue to prevent the spread. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. The DNR plans to send out more divers to the whitefish chain throughout the summer. DNR experts also remind boaters to clean, drain, dry, and even get rid of visible plants and mud. If a boat travels to infested waters, it's advised to leave the boat to dry for five days. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.